Today I will be discussing the case of Degaris and Neville Jeffress Pidler in relation to the fair dealing for research or study exception. There were two applicants, Degaris and Moore. Degaris was a university lecturer who was commissioned to write a book review for publication in the West Australian newspaper in 1988. Moore was a journalist employed by the Sydney Morning Herald as a state political correspondent, providing them with three articles for publication in the newspaper in 1987. The respondent Jeffress was a press clipping and news monitoring agency. They provided their clients with photocopies of requested subjects in exchange for a fee. Jeffress had sent photocopies of the Degaris work and the Moore works to the subscribers, However, no express license had been obtained for this purpose by Jeffress. Degaris and Moore brought proceedings against Jeffress for infringement of copyright. Jeffress defended its use of the works, stating it constituted a fair dealing under the Copyright Act. Jeffress argued the use of the works fell under Section 40 for the purpose of either research or study, Section 41 for criticism or review, or Section 42 reporting news. Jeffress argued the use of the works fell under Section 40 for the purpose of either research or study, Section 41 for criticism. Section 40 of the Copyright Act 1968 states. A fair dealing with a literacy, dramatic, musical or artistic work, or with an adaption of a literacy, dramatic or musical work for the purpose of research or study, does not constitute an infringement of the copyright in the work. Section 40 of the Copyright Act 1968 states, A fair dealing with a literacy, dramatic, musical or artistic work. In Degaris and Neville Jeffress, the courts found that research is found to mean a diligent and systematic inquiry or investigation into a subject in order to discover facts or principles. In Degaris and Neville Jeffress, the courts found that research is found In this case, Justice Beaumont rejected Jeffress' argument on two grounds. The first, while Jeffress made a systematic inquiry to recover articles or newspaper clippings on a particular subject, it did this for purely commercial reasons. It was in the nature of an information audit and was not research. Nor was what Jeffress carried out study. In this case, Justice Beaumont rejected Jeffress' argument on two grounds. The first, while Jeffress made a systematic inquiry to recover articles or newspaper clippings on a particular subject, it did this for purely commercial reasons. It was in the nature of an information audit and was not research. Nor was what Jeffress... The second ground was that the relevant purpose must be that of the person who is making the copy. Even if its customers were engaged in research, Jeffress was not. The relevant purpose was that of Jeffress, not of the customer. It was held that Jeffress had not used de Garris or Moore's work for research or study, and therefore Section 40 did not apply. The court granted injunctions to restrain infringement of the de Garris work and the Moore's work.